Hi, I just want to do a quick tutorial um, regarding um, Affinity Photo uh, editing 360 photos and uh, how you remove tripods or any items from, from within the 360 photo. Um, so, first things, open up the photo into Affinity Photo um, and if we have a look at this photo, along the bottom is some black which is the tripod and we've also got a cable that comes from the um, from the hut down to the floor that we'd like to get rid of as well so um, we're just going to quickly go through that take it out and then see how it looks so first step is we need to go into what they call the equi rectangular view which is your I, I call it the 2d view um, which is um, instead of seeing the full 360 on the flat pane you go in and you can rotate round so we do this by going layer uh, live projection and then there's an option called equi rectangular projection okay and once we're in um, there's um, we can change the heading or the pitch to move about um, or we can uh, just click on the screen and move about um, up and down and so on. So the two items that we're going to remove, uh, we're going to get rid of this cable which is coming down to the floor and we're also going to get rid of this tripod. So firstly uh, let's uh, get rid of the tripod because it's um, probably the easiest bit. Um, so once you've um, looked down um, towards where the tripod and where it is and now you want to get rid of it um, you can use uh, any of the tools that are on the left hand side for editing now the one that you want uh, to um, to use is there's one down here called in painting brush tool which is I think the shortcuts J which is this one here um, if you right click on it you get the, all the options healing brush patch tool blemish tool but it's the in painting brush tool that you uh, uh, really want to use I mean it, it's up to you I mean people may want to use the patch if it's um, a, a, um, an area that's quite uniform and you can use a patch tool so uh, um, it's up to people how they do it but uh, um, I, I tend to use this uh, in painting one. So first thing all, you can use the um, like square left and right brackets to change the size of the brush. And I usually change uh, first things is to just cover, do the tripod legs, legs first. So put the circle around it and then just left click and it should. Um, assess what's was in the circle and try and get rid of it so that's got rid of one um, let's do the next one okay and then the last uh, leg so yeah I'd, for things like the legs I just um, do it bit by bit um, okay so once that's done if we make the uh, circle a little bit bigger and then this time rather than just click once I'm going to click and hold it down and then I'm going to drag the um, cursor and the circle down over the entire area that I want and I'm going to let go of the left mouse button um, so now it's going to look at the entire area and then it's going to come up with its interpretation of what it thinks okay so that's done a pretty good job we can see that there's like it's repeated three items so what I would do on there is I'd just uh, make the bush a little bit smaller and just 
get rid of two of them. It's not changed it that much, has it? Um, so. so it's a matter of just keep going over uh, areas until you're happy with them. Um, I, you may want to do cloning or, or, or um, different different areas, but uh, but for me that 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 looks um, good enough. So now that I've edited that, I, I want to be moving about again uh, so I can look in other areas and, and look at that from a different angle. So if I click on layer and uh, do live projection and then click edit live projection, and it should give me the cursor back that allows me to move about so if we rotate round uh, and look at that area where there was a tripod and yes we uh, on in this instance it could do a bit of fine tuning around there um, so let's give it another go actually let's see whether we can make it any better Okay, so um, yeah, I mean it's um, it's a little bit better. I mean we've still got three identical patches, but in in on in, on this um, photo it's not, it's not going to make a, a difference. So okay, so I'm going to go. Well, I'm happy with that. So go back to layer live pro uh, projection and then do edit live projection again. She'll bring back my cursor. Um, so that's the tripod dealt with. We now have a look at getting rid of this wire. Um, so because it's such a, a large area, we could change the frame of view uh, and get rid of it that way uh, in, all in one. But I'll, I'll do it in two bits. Um, so again, we want to use the in painting uh, brush. But it doesn't want to be as big as that so we just want it to be a little bit smaller so let's say that but this time we're going to click and then we're just going to come all the way down now this is a bit can be a bit tricky um, now i'm going to stop there because I, you can see that it's the cables split where I think it's stitched um, incorrectly so we'll get rid of that top bit first okay and that's a nice job of that and then if we um, what I'll do is I'll reposition so we need to do edit uh, sorry layer uh, live projection edit live projection and then we should be able to scroll this down so we can get the rest of it in. Um, click on the in painting and again go up to the top and just paint the cable out. It's not very straight, but uh, it will. Do the job so to about there. Okay, this one's taking a little bit longer than the uh, previous ones, but um, hopefully, it'll have similar results. Okay, so that's brilliant. Now it's left a little bit of a a line up here, um, so it may be worthwhile just trying to correct some of that. Um, but you get the idea. Um, you just um, if we that now do layer live projection, edit live projection, 
and now we can move about so in terms of looking around in there that that cable's gone um, doesn't it's not obvious that that's been done um, the tripod is gone um, and uh, we've previously leveled the horizon so there's nothing else to uh, to do on that so um, what we now do uh, when we're happy with that is we can do uh, layer live projection remove projection and that will take it out of the ecto ecto rectangular or 2d uh, into the 360 and as you can see on the 360 now you haven't got all that tripod mess at the bottom the blackness um, and that wire has disappeared um, so that just remains for us to do um, file export um, choose what we want um, do export and if I call this tripod then Okay, and then click save, and that's it. That has now removed uh, the tripod and removed the uh, the wire, and um, that's it. Th that's it for, um, for for editing. Um, you can also uh, so that's for for removing, but you can also um, add things in as well. So um, what we can do is we can add um, text. Uh, or we can put um, images into the uh, into the 360 sphere. So um, I'll very quickly go through that um, and show you how to do that. So again, we go to layer, live projection, equirectangular to go back in. Um, so if we look around, we could put let's um, let's put some text in here. So what we'll do is we're going to go over and uh, so we've lined it up to where we want it um, we're going to go down to this frame text tool down here and then I'm just going to put a little text box in the window at the side of the dog okay now if we go at the top it's got you can change the font the size um, and, and everything else so I'm going to change it to uh, something like 96 point and we're going to put in actually let's uh, uh, if we go over to this square that says fill uh, which is black and mostly that's not going to be really any good so what I want to do is we're going to select some white um, so it's just clicking on the white at the top there so now that means that the text is going to be white so if I type in woof woof okay and maybe make that a little bit bigger there we go so we've um, make that box a little bit bigger and um, excellent that's fine so if we go um, so I've now put the text in there one I can make it uh, bold italics um, the, the usual stuff that you can do let's put it in in there in bold um, so if I go to layer and live projection um, and do oh, oh God. So do layer live projection and then just do edit live projection um, now when I move it about you see that the woof woof is moving because what we've done is we've just put in a text area but it's separate from the actual uh, 360 image so what we want to do is put that back roughly where we wanted it which is there but what we need to do is if we click on the woof woof which is that box and then right click and do merge oops I ate the wrong thing um, 
merge down, not merge visible. So you do merge down. So now if we do layer live projection and edit live projection and move about, you can now see that the text is now part of the actual background image and um, moves about and stays with, with where you placed it originally. Okay, so if we do layer um, live projection, remove projection, it goes back to the um, 360 image, uh, and you can see that the woof woof is there, slightly curved, but that's because of the, the way that the 360 image is. So all that remains for that now is to do file, export, uh, export it, and um, this time we'll call it, um, what did we call it last time, tripod remove, let's call this Uh, tripod rem woof. Okay, click save and then exit out. Okay, so if we, um, if I just open my um, 360 viewer and uh, drag in those two files, so the first one was the tripod removal, which is this one. Okay, so if we have a look, um, okay, we've got rid of the tripod um, and also the cable's gone. So that's exactly what we wanted. And then on this one, if we drag the tripod, then woof. So it's virtually the same file. Um, so tripod's removed, cable's gone, and you've now got a woof woof in there so so that's it um i hope that was uh, of use and um i'll speak to you all soon thank you